What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again here with another word problem game lesson. Today, we are talking about multiplication or division, right? But with no numbers. Our word problems are not going to have numbers. So obviously, we're not going to be solving them for an answer. However, we are going to be able to figure out, am I multiplying or am I dividing? So let's take a look at our objective today. Our objective today, today I will be able to figure out whether a word problem is multiplication or division, even when there are no numbers, by labeling my bar models. We do not need numbers to help us figure out what to do. Now, obviously to solve them, yes, but to figure out what to do, no. If you don't believe me, let's take a look at this lesson. Here we have the same number one rule for this word problem game as we did for our last lesson. If you're just, just diving into this one and you want to see an example with numbers, check out our last lesson playing the word problem game, um, figuring out multiplication and division, but that one actually had numbers in the word problem. So if you already played that game and you're now on this level, you know that each does not mean to multiply and it does not mean to divide, right? If you are a teacher and you've been saying that, or if you are a student and your teacher's been saying that, stop thinking that, right? That's just a shortcut. It's not always going to work and you will get tricked. But if you understand what each means, you will no longer face that error message. So what does each mean then, right? If it doesn't tell me to multiply or divide, what does it mean? That's a great question. Instructive Beats has an answer. Each, in words like it, simply tell you that you are playing with equal groups, right? So you may be multiplying, you may be dividing, you could even add or subtract to solve these problems, which is why we say don't use that shortcut of each means multiply or divide. It simply means equal groups, right? So words like each could be every or per or even a, right? So you have three bags of apples. A bag has five apples in it, right? So I put five in each of them and it's just like saying the word each. And now I know that I have equal groups. Here's our roadmap to victory, right? Again, what does each mean? It tells us when you see it that you're going to have equal groups, and it's also going to help you identify the parts, okay? So when you see the word each, this is a multi-flow map. It shows cause and effect. When you see the word each or other words like it, you know, hey, I have equal groups, and you know what the parts are of your part whole model, and that's so important to help us. So let's play this word problem game together, but this time with no numbers. Here we go, we have, Z and, and this is the same problem as the last lesson, because I wanted to do it with a familiar problem, but Zelda Ocarina of Time had blank temples in it. You need to use blank keys in each temple. How many keys did you need to use? So sometimes these word problems will say some temples in it. You need to use some keys in each temple. Sometimes they'll have a blank, right? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put an X and a Y here just as variables, that means, hey, I know this, is, that's a terrible Y. That looks more like a T, let me fix that. There we go, I knew I could write, okay? Um, just saying, hey, I don't know what these numbers are and it's not important to this, but I do know that these are numbers, right? And so here again, I have a word problem, so I'm gonna use my sides check strategy, which tells me to begin with a statement first, right? Any word problem strategy you use, you should always write a statement first. How many keys did you need to use? So my statement's going to say, you need to use blank keys. And I always put a question mark here because, again, I'm going to put a question mark on my model to show me where the answer to this statement would be. So my statement's talking about keys, which means I need to identify any information about keys in my word problem or things that are gonna help me figure this out. So Zelda Ocarina of Time had X temples in it. You need to use Y, uh-oh, here you go. Here's something about keys. Here's this keyword each, right? Now I have a weapon to use in this word problem game. And so I know also that temples are important now, so I need to circle this. Now, just to remind you, we're not actually gonna be solving this. We're gonna be figuring out what to do, and we're gonna write an equation that would help us solve it if we knew the numbers. So I saw this word each, which tells me I need equal groups, and because it said Y keys in each temple, I know that my Y keys are going to be my parts. So let me go ahead and draw my blank part whole model. All right, and I know I'm gonna put Y as my parts, 
right? Because it told me that there are Y keys in each. So I'm going to label this as keys, which means if my parts are keys, if everything in here is going to be a key, no matter what number I put in here, that means my total is going to be keys too. And right off the bat, I ask myself, did you circle any other information about keys? I didn't, but my statement was about keys. So I can put question mark keys and that means it's going to be my total. I know now that I'm looking for my total. I didn't need numbers to tell me that. I used my labels. If I know why keys were in each, then my total also has to be keys, which means I'm looking for it because my statement was asking me for blank keys. And if my parts are keys, my total are keys, well, I also circled something else about temples, which means my temples would be my groups. So I don't know how many temples that is, right? Because it has a variable next to it. So what I do is I'm just going to go ahead and put a line right here. I know my first part is going to be keys. I know my last part is going to be Y keys as well. And every equal group inside of this is going to be the same. So one temple would have Y keys dot dot dot. X temples would have Y keys. And then I put my little dot 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 right here because I don't know how many of these I would need. And now I know that I am going to be multiplying to figure this out because I know my parts and I know my groups and I'm looking for my total. Multiplication is repeated addition when you bring your parts together to find your total. So my equation would be X groups of, and I'll just put a dot here instead of a time sign, Y equals your total. So this is a multiplication word problem and I didn't even need numbers to help me figure that out. So I would say we figured this out, right? We got the treasure box, here we go. Let's go to our next level and try one more. In the first level of Space Invaders, you start with blank aliens. There are blank aliens in a row. How many rows are there? Now, if you're a teacher, you may know this because you played it growing up, but don't ruin it for everybody else. So again, this is a word problem. I'm gonna start with my sides check, okay? And again, we're not gonna be solving this, but we are gonna be figuring out what operation to do. So my question said how many rows are there I want to begin with the end in mind and say there are blank rows so based on that I know that I'm looking for any information about rows or what might be in rows so in the first level of space invaders you start with blank aliens there are blank aliens in a uh oh in a row which means I need to look at for information about aliens okay and I'm gonna go ahead and just put an X for this alien and a Y right here so now I know that there are, you start with X aliens and there are going to be Y aliens in a row or in other words, in each row, how many rows are there? So I just kind of found my keyword, that word a or each, right? Means the same thing or every. And so in the same sentence, it told me that there were Y aliens in each. I'm just going to go ahead and replace that word a with each now in each row. So I know that I have equal groups. And I know that my Y aliens are going to be my parts inside of my bar model. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my part whole bar model. I know that I had Y aliens in each row, right? And so if my the, the reason the labels are so important, if my parts are aliens, then my total also has to be aliens, okay? And did I circle anything else about aliens? Oh, yeah. It told me that I started with x aliens that means whatever number this would be that would have to be my total so i'm gonna go ahead and put x out here now you know it was equal groups and you know you have the total so you already know that you're dividing but let's go all the way through it okay so i had y aliens in each row that means my rows are my group uh groups so i'm gonna go ahead and put one right here and again i don't know how many groups i'm going to need because that's what i'm missing right here but i oh and i did forget my question mark sorry that's very important because somewhere along the line in my model, I should have question mark rows, which I'm going to put right here because my last group is also going to have Y aliens in it. But I don't know how many rows I would need to give me my total of X aliens. So one dot 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 blank rows or groups in the part whole model. And I have my first group right here dot 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 and my last group. And I can very clearly see that this is the division problem where you're starting with your total. You're putting the same amount in each and you're looking for your groups or in this case your rows so my equation would be x divided by y is going to give me my groups 
again, no numbers, but just by using your labels and making sure you labeled your part whole model, using this word each or every or a or per can help you find your parts, which helps you know what your total is, which helps you figure out, hey, am I multiplying or dividing? Because if you notice, this is not one of those division problems where there were keywords in it, right? They shared the aliens into equal rows or they divided. Sometimes those word problems have keywords. Sometimes they don't and you have to know how to label your bar model to help you figure out what to do. That's the end of the line for this game, right? Game is over. I would say that we won. Um, but if you need to watch it again to make sure you really understand it, feel free to do that. Please check out other, all our other songs, timers, relaxing music, lessons. We got it all for you in your classroom. We'd love for you to subscribe and follow along in our journey with us. Again, thank you so much. Instruct Beats, out.